at the London Horror Festival. Um, it is a very, very dark comedy. Um, and yeah, we really enjoyed our time here. Which Nick wrote. Yes. Yeah, Nick, you know. So, Nick Lamont. <laughs> I am the playwright. It's, yes. it's just a, a story uh, that I wrote. Yeah, um, but uh, all three of us are in it. Uh, we also have a very special guest extra who is our mother um, who's played by an actress called Rosie Fordham who uh, sits awkwardly in the corner for a lot of the show. That sounds quite terrifying. It is actually. She's wonderful at it. <laughs> does, she, um, she, does she go to sleep or? <laughs> she's so good at it she just has like pretend eyes and she sticks them <laughs> on and just sleeps the whole way through. I mean how We start off in the world's smallest cult. Uh, Adam here plays a character called Lloyd, who is a wannabe cult leader. Okay. He has gathered together myself, my character is called Abby. Uh, she's a young girl who's trying to be an actress, because aren't we all? And um, she <laughs> is quite... 100 years. <laughs> oh yeah, you get me, you know it. Okay, yes. And uh, she also has a obsession with death. Uh, don't we all? Um, yeah. We well, uh, living forever. Sort yeah, yeah. Mm. Who yeah. doesn't want to do that? Who doesn't want to do that? You know, as a vampire, that you know, you've got it. You've got that down. Exactly. Uh, but what the the crux of the matter is, um, we also have mother who's in the corner. We have a character called the priestess, and so we're a very very tiny cult. We're waiting for the Antichrist to arrive. Into Simon Cowell? <laughs> we couldn't get him, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was busy. Simon Cowell's cousin? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Johnny Cowell. Johnny. Johnny Cowell? <laughs> Johnny Cowell. <laughs> yeah. no, he's quite mysterious characters. Yeah. yeah. This chap. Yeah. yeah. He is quite mysterious. He introduced himself to meet my bed fever and... <laughs> Who he was? No one. No one knows. That's part of the intrigue, actually. Is he the Antichrist, or is he merely just a local busybody? Mm. Same thing, really, right? Well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Antichrist, get off my lawn! <laughs> yeah. Cool. That's kind of all right. So, how long has the company been going? Well, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because this is the first time we have done a play, as in a sort of narrative journey play but we've all been working together since for four four years? Four years? You yeah. said it a bit longer probably. You, you said it like you just met someone in the supermarket. How long has it been? Four years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably was, wasn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, because we myself and Nick performed the double at the Twins Macabre. I heard all about the Twins and Macabre. And Harvey is also a very talented composer. He composed the music for the Dark Twins as well. We've collaborated since our first show, really, with the music mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. Twins as well. Um, yeah. And actually, our very first show, Small Mediums at Large, we collaborated a lot with Harvey and with our director, Kate Sharp, yeah. um, to come up with that very first incarnation of the Twins Macabre. And actually, it's been really lovely that we've got that team together again to work on this show. Yeah, because it's good if you gel and then yeah, you can yeah. move on together and grow it's together. The first time we've the three of us have been on stage together, which is oh, we've really? been trying to do for ages. Yeah, yes. a long time. Um, we've finally done it. 
Thanks, mate, for writing it. It's really, really good. No worries, guys. Um, yeah, but it's it's nice, isn't it? Like it, we all know that we have chemistry, and uh, it was just about finding a fun vehicle for us all to work together. A clown car. Yeah, yeah. It's, a good vehicle. it's a good vehicle. Yeah, it is. Yeah, clown cars, one of the best vehicles. Yeah, I know. Good. Uh, clown horn, the noise, anyone? Oh, just tell you the devil's To be fair, we do do a sketch where we do clown nose noises, yeah. so that's quite unfair for you, pardon me. Yeah, this is something you need to work on if you're going to work together. Probably, yeah. Anytime, anytime, the clown horns needed. I know. Okay. Yeah, it should be ready. Awesome. Um, so, for the audience watching, can, where can people see you other than the London Horror Festival? Well, we will be performing the Darklings next at the Vault Festival in February, mm -hmm. on the 1st and 2nd of February. Um, but we, we are performing Twins Macabre sort of around London, various gigs. Um, and you can find out everywhere. Um, we'll be performing on Twitter at the Twins Macabre and on Facebook as well. On our Facebook page. Uh, cool. Okay. Uh, so if somebody wanted to uh, book you for Out of London, you would go? Yes. They pay us lots of money. I'm going to put it out there. I actually am going to put it right over there. I will say it again. Yes. yes. We just did. <laughs> Once more with feeling. Five, six, seven, eight. Totally. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anywhere if they pay okay, some money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lucifer. <laughs> Jesus yeah. is all about the money, guys. Yeah. We did an amazing gig in Huddersfield last night. We did. And we had no idea how we would go down in Huddersfield. And fortunately, they did not chase us with um, pitchforks. So it didn't end up like the Wicker Man. No, no. They, they were there. Exactly. They were They were ready. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, they, they, they were ready though. like the Wicker Man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a Halloween party, so there was a lot of costumes. You think? <laughs> Possibly, maybe that's maybe what the people of Huddersfield look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Standard. Covered in yeah, the But yes, we will travel anywhere. Yeah. Excellent. For money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it from Adrenaline Chats. Thank you very much. <laughs>